Welcome to Real Estate Investor Secrets, the podcast that reveals the blueprint to building a $1 million real estate portfolio through passive investing. I'm your host, Ryan Ang, sharing the exact blueprint that we use to go from a $240,000 fourplex to managing over $200 million in multifamily real estate assets. Each week, we'll explore commercial real estate secrets to accelerate your wealth building journey. Our goal is financial freedom and abundance for you through real estate investing. Join us to uncover strategies, insights, and hidden gems for exponential wealth growth. Learn from successful investors who achieved independence through passive investing. Now, whether you're starting out or experienced, this podcast delivers actionable insights and valuable resources for your real estate portfolio. Don't miss an episode. Subscribe to Real Estate Investor Secrets and tap into seasoned investors' wisdom. And together, we'll unlock real estate investing secrets for a future of freedom, and abundance. Everybody, today we're going to talk about a really cool real estate secret that you can implement if you are a passive investor in real estate. So you come to the conclusion that you want to invest in real estate, that it's a great vehicle, but you don't want to be involved in any of the fixing the plumbing, collecting rent, implementing a business plan. You just want to analyze something that you think is a good investment, similar to a mutual fund or a stock, but it's real estate. You just want to analyze it, deploy your money, and then receive the you know, money while you sleep checks. Show me the money! Show me the money! Well, there's a very important and a very smart way to invest in uh, general partners. Uh, or sponsors is another word for them, and operators is another word for them. So if you find an operator or a sponsor, that's something that we do, we're sponsors, that has a real estate fund or a syndication, a one-off deal, there's a very smart way that you can structure it that hopefully that they offer, and if they don't offer this, I would stay away from them, that aligns everybody's interests. So the question is this, you know, how can you make sure that your interest as a passive inv- uh, investor is aligned with the interest of the general partner. Um, How do you make sure that the motivations are the same? So let's talk about motivations for a second. Help me help you. Help me help you. Help me help you. As a limited partner, your motivation is to get your capital back as soon as possible, right? So if you put $100,000 in, You want that to come back to you as soon as possible so you can redeploy and you can continue to reinvest and snowball your wealth. If you are a general partner, your motivation is to get good returns for your investors and so that you can redeploy that money and you can continue to build your uh, portfolio and your business with your investors. So one of the smartest things to do to structure to make sure that everybody's interests is aligned is something called a preferred return. What this means is if you've got a certain split, say we'll we'll keep the math simple on it. So call it a 50-50 split. So if you plan on investing in something, the general partner makes 50% and the limited partner makes 50%. What a preferred return does is it says, all right, before we actually do this 50-50 split, the investor is going to make 8% on their money first. So this is how it works. If you've got a deal that the general partner has to go in and do some renovation and he's going to, after the renovation, bump the rents. And then after he bumps the rents, he's going to refinance the property and then pay you back your initial capital with the loan. And then after that, you're going to have 50-50 splits. So the motivation you want to be on the general partner's end you want that general partner to do that construction as fast as possible. You want him motivated to lease up as fast as possible uh, and to execute the business plan as fast as possible and to refinance as soon as possible. And the way that you motivate him is you say, all right, until I get my money back, I want 8% on it before it's split. So say you've got a project that, say you're the only investor, let's keep the math simple again, that you're putting in $100,000 and you set up a a preferred return to be 8%. That means that 
if there is $10,000 to distribute on a true 50-50 split, that general partner would be getting 5,000 and you would be getting 5,000, right? Because you're cash flowing 10,000, you're splitting everything 50-50. Well, what a preferred return says is before you general partner get any money, I'm going to get 8% on my money first. So, and again, these numbers can change. It could be 9%, it could be 10%, it could be 12, there's 6%, I've seen them at 4%. It's just a way to structure the deal to make sure everybody's interest is aligned. So let's, for the sake of this math, let's say it's 8%. So on a $100,000 investment and the asset is producing $10,000 a year in cash flow, what the 8% preferred return says is, all right, this $10,000, we're not going to split this 50 50 first. The investor is going to get 8% on his money. 8% on a hundred thousand dollars is $8,000. So of that $10,000, the investor is getting 8,000 and the remaining amount, the 2000 is then split 50 50, 1000 to the investor and 1000 to the general partner. So in that scenario, you can see that the motivation for the general partner, is he saying, all right, I could make $5,000 a year or I could make $1,000 a year. So he's going to be motivated to get that project done and get it done as soon as possible and get the renovation done and get the lease up and get it refied so that he can make a true split of 50-50. So now he's making 5000 instead of 1000 So that's a very smart way to structure it if you're doing any investment with a syndicator or an operator, you want to make sure that there is something called a preferred return, meaning that before the cash flow splits set in, you're going to make a certain amount of money that you know, call it 8% preferred return. And then the cash flow is going to get split after that. As soon as the operator or general partner pays you back your initial capital, that hundred thousand that you invested, then it becomes a true 50-50 split. You get over, the pref goes away, and it becomes a true split. So that's how you structure it. That's the smartest way to structure a deal where you're passive to make sure that the incentive of the general partner is the same as the incentive of the limited partner, that he's going to do everything he can to execute that business plan and pay you back your capital so that he'll make more money in the end. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and hope you implement this and use this in your investments. Take care. Thank you for watching Real Estate Investor Secrets Podcast. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss a valuable episode. And you can also check out the link in the show notes if you want to book an appointment to talk about real estate investing strategies and opportunities. Thanks a lot. Take care and God bless.